Once you have filled out all the web details of a record, then you will want to personalize it. And the best way to do that is through the Book of Memories. So if you click on Book of Memories on the left menu, the first page that comes up will be your theme. Now the theme, there are many Book of Memories themes and you will just have to find the appropriate category. The basic one, Forest and Roses. You can click on them to see a preview. You can also see what else is contained within your particular system and you would just click on any of these themes to see a preview. Once you've decided which theme you want, you would click on save on the top right hand side. You will also see on the theme page your book of memory settings and the date format settings. Many of these items have already been determined through your system settings, but if you need to change it for this particular record, you can easily do so through this screen. Once you have selected your theme, click on Manage Photos and then upload a new photo at the top right. When the pop-up appears, click on Add at the bottom left. Choose the photo that you would like from your computer. Once that's been selected, then click on Upload. When your main photo has been loaded into the system, you will want to set this one as a primary. If you have many photos loaded in the system for photographic memories, for example, you will want to be able to choose one particular photo that would be first visible on the book of memories. You will know that this is the primary photo when the photo becomes visible on the bottom left hand side. If you need to edit the photo in any way, you can adjust the image focal point. You can change the settings at all so different parts of the image are visible. Once you make those changes you click on save and that will be reflected in the book of memories. You can also add a caption to any of the photos and this will help as you're building your photographic memories. After you've loaded in a photo, click on service recording. If there is an audio recording of a eulogy or part of the service, you will be able to upload the service recording into this book of memories and any online visitor would be able to click on a link to listen to that service recording. The next section is memorial program. The memorial program in a PDF format can be loaded into the system. So again, when an online visitor opens up the book of memories, they will be able to click on a link to open and read the memorial program. Photographic memories will allow you to create a slideshow. You have the audio settings, you add a frame. We only have the one image in there right now. You add that photo. You can upload new photos by clicking on this link. And when you're done loading photos, you click on done and each photo would load into the film strip. Again, we only have the one here, but it, this does give you the ability to delete this photo, but every photo that's loaded in would be populated along the film strip. You have the ability to also move the order of the images. An arrow button will appear. The next step in the book of memories is choosing insignias. You will see the different affiliations category and the corresponding list. For the organization club and symbol, you would scroll down choose the particular affiliation, add the insignia so it appears here. If you ever need to delete an insignia, you click on it so it's highlighted in red and remove the highlighted. You could also do an affiliation search and then add the insignia from this field. The final step for the Book of Memories is to be able to print condolences. You have a few options here to print. You can either print all new condolences or print all condolences. When you print new condolences, those are all the condolences that have come in since the last time you printed. You will also see two different printer icons beside each option. You can print new condolences without a watermark or with a watermark. To preview your book of memories, click back on theme and then you can preview for web. Once you've established that everything within the book of memories is exactly the way you would like it to be and click on save. Once you click on save, this will ensure that all of the changes that you've made to this particular record are saved within the system.